Chapter 6 continues our discussion of social networking, social media platforms. And we're going to focus specifically on microblogging, which still falls into that first zone of social media, um, the social community, where people are sharing, socializing, and conversing with each other on these social network sites. Um, when we talk about microblogging, uh, microblogging is basically saying that everything is very short and concise, so it's micro. So blogs, we're going to talk about blogs um, in the next module, uh, but blogs are very long form writing, and microblogging is very short. We're talking 140 characters short on most microblogging sites. Um, but the the average attention span of the the average American is shortening. And is especially short when they're browsing the web. Um, you know, there's even jokes being said that the average adult has a shorter attention span today than a goldfish, which is about three seconds. And so this really changes how people view, consume, and digest information. And so that change has um, started a change in how marketers deliver information because we know that we have to be short and concise or we're not going to be able to hold the attention of the person reading our message. Um, and so Twitter is the largest microblogging platform in operation today, and that's worldwide. And like most social media platforms, Twitter was started for personal communication, but has evolved into a platform where companies can communicate with customers and with each other. And so I mentioned in um, Chapter 5 that Twitter is a unique site and that it reaches both a business to consumer audience and a business to business audience. So everyone um, is on Twitter and companies are using it to communicate with um, their business contacts and they're also using it to communicate with customers directly. Um, but before we dive into the textbook content, for chapter six, um, I'm going to have you go into Hootsuite and go back to SCMD 121 and watch the um, Twitter video for social networks for organizations. Um, it'll just give us a little overview of Twitter before we start talking about um, how to use it for marketing.